Hello, Blythe, Evie, Joe, Jack, Callum, Cadence, Lucy, Orion, and anyone else who's listening. Welcome to Storytime. Today's story is Kamala and Maya's Big Idea, written by Mina Harris, illustrated by Anna Ramirez Gonzalez. You might hear rain falling behind me because it's raining very hard here right now. So if you hear that, that's all it is, rain and thunder. Kamala and Maya's Big Idea by Mina Harris, illustrated by Ana Ramirez Gonzalez. This is a true story. So the story begins. You know what should be out there? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us, said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. A playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. They were going to need help. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in the courtyard, Maya said. That does sound nice, Mommy agreed. How can we make that happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who owns the building. So, Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went to see the landlord to discuss their idea. Look at how Kamala's got her tongue out while she's concentrating on writing. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Hmm, I don't think so. No. That was not the answer they wanted. But they weren't ready to give up that night. The girls tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. Ooh, what do you think they're gonna do? They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did, and they had ideas too. Let's have a teeter-totter, and a basketball hoop, and flowers. So, Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. Dear landlord, right now the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, Kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it, please? I love this letter. Isn't it great? Look at how they have the swings and the slide and the flowers. What do you think he's going to say? The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. That's not very long. A project this big is expensive. We don't have the money for that. Do your parents know you're here? This was not the answer they wanted, but Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about that for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, he shrugged. If you can do it yourselves, sure. Whoa, that's a big idea, isn't it? This wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbors' doors but they got the same answers from everyone. I'm sorry. Wow, that is a big job. Wish I could help. 
which they knew meant no, no, no. Hmm, what do you think they're going to do? But then Mr. Green stopped to talk. I work construction, and I could maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for a sandbox. Really? Kamala said. Yes! exclaimed Maya. Okay, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now, maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. The next weekend, maybe turned into a yes. The kids all helped measure and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. Then came the actual sand. Ooh, this is exciting, isn't it? They were all thanking Mr. Green. Look at how tired and worn out and sweaty Mr. Green is. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Miss Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. Another maybe. In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. Oh man, look, they've got the sandbox, the teeter-totter, the flowers, everybody's working together. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground, so they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Look at Kamala hanging the sign up on the wall. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through. Mr. Green brought the music. Kamala admired the new playground, but she noticed there was still one thing missing. Can y'all think of what it is? What's missing from their playground? No one knew how to make a slide. But Mrs. Flores knew where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary, and they are redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide. This was a different kind of maybe. A how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. So they're gonna raise the money. No one could do everything, but everyone could contribute something. Oh, look, they've got lemonade, they've got books, they've got clothes, they've got hats, they've got boots, they've got shoes. Everybody contributed something. Isn't that amazing? That's what you do when you live in a community. When the slide arrived at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. Yay! Look at that. Look at Kamala going down the slide. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hands, girls, he said. You did a good job. You all did a good job. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Kamala and Maya! 
Hooray for the Persisters! What's next, Kamala? Kamala, looking up, said, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. <laughs> so what do you think happened then? The end. This was written by Mina Harris, who is the niece of Kamala Harris, who is a United States Senator from California. And right now, Kamala Harris is running for um, Vice President of the United States. Amazing, huh? Ana Ramirez, the illustrator, worked on Pixar's movie Coco and illustrated the companion book Coco, Miguel, and the Grand Harmony. She is an amazing illustrator. She grew up in Guanajuato, Mexico, and lives in Oakland, California. Mina Harris, the author, lives in San Francisco with her partner and two daughters. This is a picture of Kamala Harris and her sister Maya Harris when they were teenagers, when they were little girls, when um, they're, that's them with their mother as little girls. And that's a picture of Mina Harris with Kamala Harris in the middle. And then Mina's mother, Maya, beside Kamala. So this is such an amazing story about being persistent. Remember they called them the persisters? and about coming up with a great big idea and how working together as a community, we can make things happen. That is very exciting. I hope you like this story. And I hope all of you are persisters, committed to your community, willing to make things as good as they can be. You keep taking good care of yourselves. Keep loving on each other. Always love yourselves. Love your ideas and figure out ways to make them happen. And never forget, I love each one of you to the moon and back. We'll be back together tomorrow for story time when we read another story. Bye-bye.